Hey guys, welcome to Get Even, a new game that just released on Steam and consoles, um, which I had to get through PS4, weirdly enough, because it's not available in Japan for sale. Maybe not yet, maybe it's coming later. Um, but it's fine, I bought it on PS4, let's go. Uh, traumatizing difficulty, sure. It was only traumatizing or easy, so I guess traumatizing is sort of the normal mode. Um, it's supposedly a kind of shooter slash psychological horror. To make clear that although set to read only, we will be recording as is our legal right. However, anything you do witness will not be either admissible or provable in a court of law. Okay. Hang on, I'm still not sure if this is right. I need a decision now. We're against the clock. Any longer, and we risk cellular breakdown. Okay. I'm ready. What's happening? I kept um, I kept reading the title as Get Evan <laughs> because the E is mirrored and I keep seeing it as an A. So I keep thinking it's Get Evan. <laughs> but the reviews um, for this game are really high so far so that's actually what pulled me in and uh, made me want to try it. I'm uh, not sure if it's gonna be super interesting like uh, for you guys, so it kind of depends on how this is gonna do Save view wise. Girl. Save the girl. Um, if it's gonna get a lot of views, then I'll keep doing it as a let's play. If it doesn't get any views, then we'll move it to Twitch to finish it in bigger blocks, probably. Unless it's completely boring, then I'm just gonna drop it after a couple episodes, probably. But usually, I'm interested enough to keep going. Hopefully. It looks, uh, pretty good. What's flying back there? A drone? I know surprisingly little of this game, just that it looks cool. And, um... Oh, damn! Oh, damn! Oh, it has aim assist. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's just a little bit delayed. Um, should I just shoot people? Oh, silencer. Better. Should I just kill people immediately? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh wait, what did it say? Black, stay away from the hand oversight. We have the girl, you can't save her. Let this run its course. What's that sound? Okay, so holding it for just a little bit longer than a second. Uh, we'll switch you to... Can I get in here? Is that sound that it's locked? Uh, I'm running with L. It kind of reminds me of uh, Metro. Because I don't play that many FPS uh, games. Green lights on the side of your phone guide you towards nearby evidence. Oh, cool. Oh. Press L1 or R1. Ah. Let's press and hold. Select the scanner app with R. Confirm by releasing. It's a camera and a camera! Try scanning the broken drone. Ah, oh, this gives me really flashbacks to, um... Ah, I see. Okay. FDG drone What's that game called again? Fuck. Where you're an investigator. And you have like a phone that scans all kinds of shit. Should I go back to... I'll probably stay in scanner mode. It's probably more I need to scan. Oh, what the fuck is it called? Jesus. I played it like a long time ago. It was pretty challenging at one point. And there was this one, the coolest section of that game was like when you have black light all throughout the house. That sound. That's just like Fatal Frame. There's a ghost nearby. Is 
So we're trying to get Evan. Ha! <laughs> It looks really pretty so far. Oh, that's probably a thing. Uh, scan? Can we get DNA from that? Cigarette. Partial fingerprints. Partial fingerprints. Okay, good lens on a camera. So I'll just have to look at stuff and then the camera will be like, I want to scan this. Wait, did I come from here? Who's that? Who needs shooting? I guess that's the other way down. There we go. That wasn't too hard. I can get your gun. Oh, I have to hold it. Okay, cool. Wow, good shot. Ooh, pick up. Um, okay, so I have to hold the button just a tiny bit longer to pick stuff up. We're going further down. I am so stealthy, you'll never see me coming. Hmm. Doorbell? Hello! Horses. Must be one floor up. Select the map app. Real time. Ah, oh, shit. Map. Oh. Does it? I I am not really seeing it yet. I guess I need to go back, but okay. Now I checked all the doors. Are oh, there? Those triangles? Couldn't I open this door? Wait. Then... So is that sound just gonna repeat until I am unstuck? So they're here. That's not one floor up. That's one floor down. Oh, whoops. So should I go around? Oh, I can't. Should we shoot them? Hello? Who is it? Oh, it's no one. Yeah. So it's one- it is one floor up. No, wait. They're moving now. That's confusing. I'll have to get used to that. I'm being all sneaky, but I don't think I have to. Hello? It's me, Gab. Detective Gab. I'm here to get Evan. <laughs> Such an annoying joke. <laughs> wow, this looks cool though. Um. The music is getting more intense. Am I getting somewhere? Safe point. Let's check it out.
I'm definitely getting somewhere. Oh, hi. What am I gonna do? Bent the corner gun right. Oh, it's a corner! Should I shoot them? Hold to zoom. Oh. oh! Yes, that was so good. Corner gun, what the fuck? Awesome. Bugger. I'm sorry, dude. I shot you in the face. Oh, hey. Evan's a girl. Who the fuck is Mike? He's probably on his phone. Fucking typical. Find him. All right. Hi. Take him out. Got you first. Ah, it's really hard to aim. Can I disarm the bomb? Stay away. Hey, shh. Is it off? It's okay. Oh my god, it's gonna go off. You've got to help me! What do I do? Code? I don't know. I you're scared, but you have to be quiet. Can you do that for me? I don't know what the code is. Get you out of here. Do, does my phone know? I heard the code. Oh. It's three zero zero one. I'm sure of it. <laughs> well, it's not three zero zero one. She heard it wrong. So my name is Black. I'm very quiet. No, I'm not. I'm a bit obnoxious today. I'm sorry. Wait, we just wake up head. outside? It was a bomb. A girl. Did they dump us because we were still alive? They've dumped you. I'm waiting in building B as agreed. Okay. Looks like I'm going to building B. Okay. Where is building B? No, I can't. Okay. I can't zoom in on the map. Is this a very small indie team? I wonder. It kind of feels very more indie than I expected it to be. Oh, building B. Here we go. Easy. I mean, it seems very decent so far. Just the way certain scenes are handled makes me think it's indie. What's that? Shit. Bottle. I'm alone in here. No. Just me then. Wasn't Red waiting for you? Maybe it's a robot. Oh, hello. Should I scan that? Um, no. Uh, oh, here. To get used to the buttons. Buttons! What's that breathing noise? Is that me? Like every now and then you can hear like... <gasps> Hello? Oh. No TV. I don't like TV. Jesus! You scared me, lady. Who put you in the closet? I don't think I have a flashlight, actually. That was really cool, too, how the music just picked up according to where you were on the map. 
That was a cool touch. <gasps> Ooh! Oh! Can someone check that SR code? It actually works. That would be cool. Drugs won't help you. How do I crawl? There we go. Fuck's sake, come on. He's really nimble. <laughs> he crouches, walks super fast. Okay. Hello. What do I do? You want to do the power? No. Power? Alarm? Maybe later. Seems like the power is on now, so maybe we get back there later when the power goes off. Oh, you're gonna do a thing. Do it. Do your monkey thing. Not yet. Hmm. That goes the sound again. That's so good. That's a really nice touch. This is your fault. No, it's not. Just listen to the girl. I wonder if I could have... It was probably scripted, right? Because I wanted to use my phone and maybe scan the bomb or something. There we go. Got it. It's dark though. Those wires are probably warm. I could chase them back to them. Oh, you moved. Vision app. Oh, nice. Fuck, why have I forgotten what that. the name of that. Oh, kitty! The name of that game. Good enough? Sounds like it. Your actions will have consequences. I just turned on the light! Can I? Can I? Can I? I can't get my gun. I don't have any guns with me? Ah, oh, shit. And now I just realize. Oh, we know what's terrifying? If at some point I pick up a ghost... How much are you responsible for? Nice. At some point, I pick up a person on the thermo, but not on the actual. Not with my eyes. I'm getting into it now. What's going on? Hello? Cigarettes. Partial Anyone fingerprints. There? Yeah, that, that hey. was me. Is that me? Oh, I'm handsome. Why was he there? Drone. Okay. Controller board. Screen text. Upon leaving the military seven years ago, it seems Black lost years of his life to alcohol and occasionally even drugs. In order to fund his this lifestyle, he took small-scale security jobs where he began to develop something of a reputation. Where it spread about his ability and willingness to fight should the situation call for it, which ultimately led to work as a contracted killer. Over time, Black left the alcohol behind in favor of the thrill of his new work. Though his contacts, contracts pay well, Black seems to use the money only to gauge the importance of the contract and the seriousness of the client. Psych reports suggest Black is a walking contradiction, unable to kill without feeling wrought with guilt, yet only able to find purpose in life through killing. No known family or friends. Something's not right. Huh, that's nice. It's a little bit more backstory about me. Get familiar with the character a little. Should I take out my map? Jesus. Well then. Ah, Mr. Black. Please. Red. Apologies for the theatrics. Oh. It's all part of the treatment. Treatment. This will be far more straightforward if you just keep breathing. That's it. Good. 
What's happening to me? Are they- oh! Guess. But why didn't they just move me when I was knocked out outside? Why did I have to go knock out in this building? Mr. Black, relax, breathe. You're That's me? Minor confusion is expected. What? Who are you? What the hell is this thing on my head? Hey! Calm, Mr. Black, that's all I ask. Your current confusion is a byproduct of your treatment. What? All very unfortunate. My phone's gone. I assure you, you are in safe hands. If it helps you focus, you may call me... Red. You, you gassed me. There was something before. Another place. That's why you're here, Mr. Black. But now is not the time for questions. Okay. So they set this up especially for me. Get a gun. Wait. Wait. A gun. My gun. Consider it security. How can I trust you when you knock me out and put this thing on my head? To explain, your memory was damaged in the explosion, leaving two questions that you came to us to answer. Why were you there? And who was the girl? I know why I was there. To save the girl. Then we are making progress. Please, proceed. proceed so we just don't what? know who the girl Hello? was. It must have been just a client or something. I, he didn't seem very attached to the girl, but I could be wrong. So that's the thing I have on my head. So maybe I've gone to some like illegal organization to jog my memory. That seems pretty cool. Oh, who's that? Whoa. But wait, if I have a device on my head, that means I can practically make me see anything. Asylum. Blackwell. Lith Lithurst. Well, it's Kaufman. <laughs> Silent Hill 1. Kaufman, right? Age 28. Male. Oh, we're the same age, dude. 6'1", 165. I am taller and lighter than you. Ha! Huh. <laughs> uh, 1997. So depending on what year it actually is, he's here probably for a long time. Patient suffers from anxiety disorder and possible depressive disorder. Outwardly calm when any and all decisions are made by a third party yet agitated when left to make the choices themselves. Submissive and inactive by nature, patient will quickly become anxious and argumentative if left alone for long periods. Patient admitted after being found screaming and crying in local supermarket. The pol police reports, out police report outlines that the patient was whispering, they're already here and they know what I did, oh god of mercy on me. After brief evaluation, patient was admitted to our institution and sedated. Immediate psychi psychiatric interview showed thoughts and fixations of morbidity, death and murder. Patient is talkative yet highly unresponsive to questioning. What have you done at my age? So now I have my phone. Okay. Um, what does it want me to use then? If it's like remember that you can use this. You want a skin? Ah, uh, yeah. Missing person. Case reported September 2000. September 2000? Wait. That was... When was that? Well, your phone says June 2015, so... Match found. Walt Kaufman, 28. Armed Forces, Unit Class. 
classified. Armed forces? What's he doing here? Depressive Disorder. Bipolar. Alcoholic hallucinations. Puppet Master. Are these guys I'm gonna fight? This is really interesting, all of a sudden. 30 to 35. Lots of unknowns. Constant supervision required. Dissociative amnesia. False sense of self, personal history, and overall wor world view. Claims to have been a victim of recent trauma but cannot recall details. Handed himself into the police station exhibiting erratic behavior. He would only ask for Catherine, his wife. Later suicide attempt. Huh. Okay. Chip chip. Turn it off. Might be an achievement. Hey friend, over here. Hey dude. You got out. How did you get out? You can't leave me here. Just hang on. What's going on here? Isn't that the dude well, that no, I shot? Please, or is it just another away. ponytail? The switch there, it opens this door. You, you have to help me. Where's your patient file? I don't know who you are. No evidence. Who are you? I don't trust you. Match found. Oh. Samson Charnel. Patient number three nine. That's it? You're not gonna tell me anything else? Don't see anything suspicious. Just open the door! Get me out before he puts me back in! Not sure, dude. I don't know if I can trust you. Where are your patient files? I don't like that you don't have patient files. Don't know what that does. <laughs> I wonder if he's trouble. I mean, if any everyone in here has some kind of mental issue, then I don't think I should just let people out. Just because they ask nicely. Built in 1962 to house 500 inmates, Lithurst oh Asylum- door. Shut up! Had over 2,000 patients at its peak in the mid-80s. 15 years later, the facility was forced to close due to allegations. Numerous ex-patients together with a series of newspaper articles regarding shocking and unorthodox treatment used by the director of the institution, Dr. William Benway. Benway held the radical belief that all mental disorders are caused by bodily infections and that the most direct way to cure a patient is by removing the offending infection. Reports suggest he would pull patients' teeth out and if he deemed the treatment unsuccessful, would frequently remove other, other body parts too, including testicles, uteruses, ovaries, and stomachs. Dude. He claimed the method had a 90% cure rate, but in reality many of the patients died, which Benway would refer to as the ultimate cure. Benway lost his meth ben Benway and his methods eventually gave rise to the Lithurst Asylum's nickname, the Hospital of Lost Teeth. Holy shit, that's really good. Hello? Very good, Mr. Black. You oh. must be as efficient as possible. Cry players should download chunk will be ready. What? Wait, what? It needs to download more? Yeah, it's just stuck. Huh! Okay. Well, I guess that's the first episode then. It's exactly 30 minutes, so perfect. I guess it just needs to download more? I thought it was finished download. I left it on for like 8 hours. Guess not. Well, I hope you guys liked it. First episode, it's getting interesting the further I go. Definitely have to say that. Depending on how good it does, I'll play more. If you guys want to see more, let me know. Might do it as a stream. 
I'm not quite sure yet uh, how good this is gonna be. Might be better as a stream, but you know, let me know what you think. And uh, I'm pretty interested so far. Hope you guys liked it. And see you soon with more. Bye!